Good day students, welcome to mathgotserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over how to solve right triangles. All right, let's consider the following problem. Let's assume that we are to solve the given triangle, okay? Solve the given triangle. And let's say we have um, the following right triangle situation. And this angle right here for B is 15.8. And then this side is 42.4. And this is big A, big C, and this is little a, little b and little c. We have the right angle here at angle c. Now the first question is what does it mean to solve um, the given triangle? To solve a triangle basically means that you have to find the measures of the sides and angles that are not given. Okay. So we're given angle C, angle B, and side A. So we need to find sides C and B and angle A. All right, so the first missing um, variable that we're going to find is big A, okay? So we need to find angle A. Now, in order to find angle A, we're going to use the triangle angle sum theorem, okay? If you have two angles in a right triangle, it's easy to find what the third angle is. So, the triangle angle sum theorem tells us that we have the following formula, okay? So, angle A, big A, is equal to 180 minus the sum of the other two angles, okay? So if we apply this particular formula to this scenario that we are dealing with right here, we will have big A is equal to um, 180 minus, uppercase B is 15.8 degrees plus uppercase C is um, 90 degrees. That's a given. Let's go ahead and enter this expression into our calculators. So we will have 180 minus parenthesis 15.8 plus 90. And that will give us the measure of angle C. A, which is 74.2 degrees. So big A is 74.2 degrees. Now let's go ahead and uh, find the next measure. We have big A down, now we need to find little b and little c. In order to do this, we're going to be making use of Sokotoa. Okay, so what does Sokatoa mean? Sokatoa is just a nice mnemonic device to help you relate the three trig functions, sine, cosine, and tangent to ratios of their respective sides. Okay, now we're looking for, let's find side C first. It doesn't really matter the side you find, so we want to find side C. So we need to set up a ratio, okay? We're gonna set up a ratio involving two sides and an angle. After the ratio is set up, we may have only one unknown. So we have an angle which is known, we have one side A which is known, and we have side C which is unknown. So we can use angle B, side A, and side C. We can't use B to find C, because they're both unknowns, and when we set up a ratio, we'll have one equation with two unknowns, which we cannot solve. 
So which trig ratio out of sine, cosine, or tangent relates side A and C with angle B? So let's um, label this triangle appropriately and we'll be able to determine the right trig function to use. So let's label the triangle relative to angle big B, okay? So if this is uppercase B, um, this side opposite the angle is going to be called our opposite. Now that is O in Sokatoa. The longest side which is the side opposite the 90 degree angle is the hypotenuse H in Sokatoa and um, the other side is the adjacent which is A in Sokatoa now um, to find C which formula are we going to use that's the question. Are we going to use sine, cosine, or tangent? So we're going to make use of the side we know and the side we need to set up our ratio, okay? So we're looking at hypotenuse and adjacent. Now which trig function has hypotenuse and adjacent in it? sine, cosine, or tangent. We can clearly see that the cosine function has hypotenuse and adjacent in it. Okay, so how are we going to set it up? We're going to use ka. Ka tells us that cosine theta is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Okay, so this is the formula that will help us to solve for um, side C. Alrighty, so we're going to set it up. Cosine of the angle, the angle under consideration is big B, so cosine of big B which is 15.8 is equal to the adjacent which is 42.4 divided by the hypotenuse which is little c. Now how do we um, solve for little c? To find little c we will mul first multiply both sides by little c. We do not want the unknown in the denominator so the little c's cancel out and we'll have C cosine 15.8 is equal to 42.4. Now to get little c isolated, we'll divide both sides by cosine 15.8. Now you have to note that cosine 15.8 is a package, okay? They come together and they go together do not separate them. Now we divide out cosine 15.8 on the left side, left with 1, and little c is going to be 42 divided by cosine 15.8. So let's go ahead and enter that quotient into our calculators. So we have 42 First of all, we need to ensure that the mode of our calculator is in degrees since the, angular, the angles are in degree measures. So we have 42.4 divided by cosine 15.8. Close that. Enter. We have 44.0649 to four decimal places. 44.0649. That's little c. 
Now, are we done solving the triangle? The answer is no. We found big A, little c. Now we need to find the measure of little b. Okay, so let's find little b. Now we can use Sokotoa again to find little b, but there is another formula that we can also use, and that is the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so let's go ahead and use the Pythagorean theorem here just for our variation purposes. So the formula that I speak of, the Pythagorean theorem, is the formula that relates the three sides of the triangle. Okay, so we have a square plus b square equals c square. That's your Pythagorean theorem. Okay, we know a and c, so we're just going to plug in, plug them into the formula to find little b. So a is 42.4, so we have 42.4 square plus b square equals the hypotenuse, which is 44.064. Nine. To get b square isolated, we will subtract 42.4, 42.4 from both sides. I put two here. This is supposed to be four. So we'll subtract um, 42.4 square from both sides. And we'll have little b square is equal to, now let's calculate this difference. So we have uh, this answer, we can raise it to the second power, minus 42.4, raised to the second power. See, these are the two ways you can enter a square, either carrot 2 or just this little x square button right here. Okay, they mean exactly the same thing. So we'll have 143.9518 to four decimal places. To get B isolated, we'll take the square root of both sides because the inverse of square is square root. So what happens on the left side is that the square and the square root cancel each other out since they're inverse operations. And we have little b is equal to um, the square root of the answer we just got. Now to call up answer that, like I used previously, all you do is you press second function negative. You see the yellow um, option there? If you press second function negative, it calls up the previous answer. And then press enter and we have 11.998. Eight zero for little b. Okay, so the four decimal places our answers are big A is seventy four point two degrees. Um, little c is approximately forty four point zero six four nine, and little b is approximately eleven point nine nine eight zero. Okay, so there goes our answers. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your study of um, right triangle trigonometry, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions or comments about this presentation, just place it in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to support you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other tutorials such as this. More clips can be found on mathgodserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.